This week's Pilch Point with Abram Pilch is proudly powered by Pure VPN. When you're browsing online, you want to hide your uh, browsing history, whether it be from your ISP or Google or Facebook or whoever it is. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is with a, uh, a VPN service like Pure VPN. Right now, they have a, uh, a deal running 88% off. Uh, the way, basically, the way it works is, if you purchase a five-year plan, you will get it for a dollar thirty-two a month. Uh, there are plenty of other deals available right now as well, and you can find all of those deals by going to pilchpoint.live/purevpn. All right, Avram. The the sales insanity has has started to calm down a little bit, so. Uh, what have we got to talk about this week? So this actually could feed into what you're buying this holiday season. The eternal question that could be asked at any time, but uh, I've asked it recently. Uh, are you better off buying your next PC or building it from scratch? Now, for most people who visit um, Tom's Hardware, uh which is my day job, they, uh, a lot of them want to build, want to build a PC for very good reasons. And, but there are some who, who do want to buy it. And so I looked at the arguments on both sides and, you know, what it actually would cost to build versus buy, um, at least as of last week. So obviously, uh, if you're buying a, a laptop, let's just get this out of the way. You can't build a laptop. So there, there's no, there's no way you would buy, you would build a PC. Um, but uh, if you are looking for a desktop to do your, uh, to be your, your main PC, your gaming PC, uh, if you build it, obviously you get to have it your way. Every single component you pick you get to decide the look of the chassis, the you know the lighting arrangement inside. You got to, You get to make sure that you have name a name brand uh, power supply and and motherboard um, and RAM. You get to um, and you and when you're done with it, you feel a sense of pride of ownership. Like wow, I built this and it works great. Um, you also can can save some money. Uh, it particular you can also save some money if you have existing parts that you're reusing. So we'll get to in a minute the difference, the cost differential between buying a PC and building a PC from scratch. But there's no comparison if you're already, say, reusing a whole bunch of the parts from a previous build. Uh -huh. So if you have a power supply that's, you know, been good for you and 600 watts or something and you've got a case. I mean, I used to have a chassis that went through went with me through like four builds you know i mean you know case and power supply right there that's probably you know at least a hundred hundred fifty dollars worth of worth of value right there and then if you know if you're reusing your storage drives you know it uh pretty soon you you know a lot of the cost has already been defrayed now there are lots of reasons why you'd want to buy a pre-built PC. For one, time is money. Sure. Um, you know, if it ta even under the best, if the price difference between a a pre-built PC and building it yourself, let's say it costs two hundred dollars more to get the pre-built PC, but you know, you know, it takes you six hours five six hours after all the after all is said and done to to build a pc i don't know you know if you're if, if you if you make forty dollars an hour that literally could be you could have worked for that or you know your time is you know your time is precious so you know and you'll have lower blood pressure because if you get something if you get something that's pre-built it's guaranteed to work out of the box. Uh, and if it doesn't, you send it back. And you get a, a warranty and support for everything as opposed to, well, maybe you get a warranty on the SSD, but it's different from the warranty on the RAM. 
and the motherboard. So if something's wrong, you don't know, you may not immediately know which it is, which, which part is defective and which one you need to send back. So, you know, so it's definitely a lot easier and to, to, to buy a pre-built PC, but a lot of people feel like, Hey, I'd like to have it my way. And you can save money, particularly if you are, if you are uh, recycling parts, sure. but what if you're not? So I start, so in my article, which you can read on Tom's hardware, I put together two different PC builds uh, from scratch. Uh, and I priced how much it would cost to build each PC versus buying as similar of a desktop as I could find. Granted, you know, when you're out shopping for a pre-built, pre-built PC, very often you're not going to find exactly the same thing that you configured, but close enough. So my sub $500 build, uh, featured a core I three ninety one hundred F processor an RX five seventy graphics card, eight gigs of Ram and a five twelve gigabyte six, six, uh, Intel six sixty P SSD. Uh, that came up to when I priced it two weeks ago, $478. The closest uh, I could find online was a cyber power gaming PC that was 600 bucks, had a Ryzen processor instead of a Core i3, uh, and a 240 gig SSD with one terabyte hard drive instead of a 512 SSD. Uh, or an HP Pavilion desktop that had a Core i5 processor and a GTX 1650 card, uh, but but just but just a one terabyte hard drive. And if you wanted it with an SSD, that took the price up from 549 to 709. So what you're talking about is somewhere between the price delta between what I built and what it would cost you to get something somewhat similar mm -hmm. is at least is at least one hundred and twenty dollars. But probably if you want if you want the full SSD, at least the five twelve SSD, probably more like one hundred fifty two hundred dollar price delta. Um, similar story when I was building a. I actually did three builds, building a sub $1,000 build with a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU and an RTX 2060 graphics card and a one terabyte SSD. Um, my build cost $986. Um, the best... Um, The best deal I found was something called a SkyTech Legacy Mini, brand I never heard of for 1079, which had a lesser CPU than mine, but otherwise similar specs. Uh, and and that was 1079, so about a hundred dollars more. Okay. So the price differential seems to be somewhere depending on what you get somewhere around um, $100, 100 to $200 between building and buying. Uh, although the, dif the difference goes way up if you want to build with a large SSD, because as we said on a previous show, you really get gouged when you get, when you get a large SSD uh, on a pre-built system. You know, if you want a terabyte or two terabytes of storage, it comes fairly cheap when you buy it on your own, but not so when you get it in a system. So, so what are we talking about? Maybe a hundred to two hundred dollar uh, price differential. Now, let's also to keep in mind that it's actually even less of a delta than that when you take into account that my that I didn't price a Windows license into the mm -hmm. into this. Uh, because we know that, well, you can get a Windows key fairly cheaply, and some people already have one. And I didn't price a keyboard and mouse into this, uh, 
because I think even if you buy a pre-built desktop, the, the keyboard and mouse that they give you are usually so crappy that you should buy one on your own anyway. But those things have value. And, you know, when you take it into account, the fact that the keyboard and mouse might be worth 30, 40 bucks, that a Windows license, you know, might be worth, I mean, if you bought it wholesale, re, you know, retail from Microsoft would be 120 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the price differential between build, build it and buy it is is very, very small. Um, so I think this really comes down to a do you have do you want to take do you really want to have it? How important is it to have it your way to have the system look the way you want to have it, you know, get all the things you want now if obviously if you're doing things like overclocking um you're gonna want to get better cooling than you'll probably get in a pre than most pre-built systems mm -hmm. but um if you're not doing anything you know if you're not doing like really heavy overclocking the reason the reason to to build is really because you want to have it look a certain way. Right. You want to make sure that these are parts that you really like, uh, all of those things. And, you know, that's why I personally would build instead of buy. But uh, I think if you look at the economics of it, um, it comes out to be kind of a wash. And one of the reasons that we've talked about in the past that might uh, that might drive you to to build versus buy is there are certain components in a pre-built that not only you don't have control over, but you don't know what they are, right? Like you don't know, you don't necessarily know what hard drive is going to be in a, in a system. You don't necessarily know. Yeah. Right. There, there's certain, certain brands of things that, <laughs> that might be important to you. Uh, even if it's not, you know, a terabyte versus a terabyte of, of hard drive space, you know the difference between a, a a no name and a and a big brand could be important, or uh, be no, even between models. Th this is true. Th this is true. I mean, another way to do this, which I think the premium's a little higher, so the delta's a little higher, uh, is you can go to a site like um, CyberPower PC, and you can literally pick. Uh, I believe I buy power is like this too. You can literally pick like what SSD you want and what RAM you want and what motherboard you want, mm -hmm. um, and they will and they have a like a pull down menu with like like hundreds of them. So, in effect, they're just putting it together for you like you might for yourself. But the in those cases, you're usually spending a a fair premium because you're getting it made made to order versus getting something that is off the shelf. Uh, at, at Best Buy and those things that are off the shelf, you definitely don't, you usually don't know what brand and model of SSD you're getting, for example, and that makes a difference in your performance. You, yeah, for you sure. Know, you, there's a big difference between getting like a cheap SSD and getting one, you know, one with, with a much more high quality controller and high quality, you know, high, high quality flash and stuff like that. So, um, yes, if you, and that's why people who are really concerned about performance will probably either build it themselves or they will have it completely custom made, um, just to save themselves the effort. Um, but for, I think a lot of people, and I'm not just talking about people who aren't tech savvy, like, you know, the classic example of, you know, my mom, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, my mom wouldn't use a desktop. <laughs> she wouldn't use care, need a GPU because she's not playing games. So, you know, um, but, you know, I think for most pe um, most people who are, who are serious PC gamers know their, know their components uh, at least a, li a bit. And, and so they do have to shop around and find, find good stuff, but clearly, um, you know, building is still, you know, preferable if you have the time and you have the patience. But um, for a lot of people, 
you know, it's just simply easier and not really significantly more money to just to just buy to just buy an off the shelf system. Um, what would I do? I would I would build it. But um, I think it's you know, I think it, it really depends on on the person. But I think what was an eye opener for me is that it's actually not uh, much more money to to get it. You're not paying a significant premium to get it pre-built, but I guess what you are paying in, as you say, is it may not be the brand of SSD that you want or the brand of RAM that you want, or the, um, you know, may not be the brand of power supply that you want or the fans that you want. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the best argument for building. True. And, uh, and you said that you've got an article on this out there, right? Yes. So if you go to tomshardware.com, you can check out my story on should you build or buy your next gaming PC. And uh, please let me know what what you what you think. I think uh, what most people who have read it have said is, you know, as someone who's reading this, I want to build it. But I know that and I know that there's somebody who should buy it. Uh, so that's uh, th- that's that's the story. Makes sense. Well, Abram, as always, uh, I I always love these these stories from you because they're always they're always so interesting. Because you know we've talked about it many times. You know, you and I have kind of always built our our computers, other than my my Surfi, um, which for those people who are new viewers is the plural of Surface, as far as I'm concerned. Um, as far as far as my outside of my Surfi, all of the computers that we use, whether it be here in the studio or the office or whatever, are all uh, custom built. Um, and that's probably a lot to do with I want to and <laughs> and some to do with, you know, the the things that I want are odd because the things that I need, like for the studio are odd. <laughs> Um, and so it just makes more sense to custom build, but yeah, it, with a, with a price difference that close together for most people, it's probably, uh, probably irrational to try and try and have one custom built because if you're not doing it yourself, you're going to be paying that premium to somebody else to do it for you anyway. So it, it definitely makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Now, you know, listen, I'm trying to gather up the parts so my so my son who's seven and I can build him a desktop PC, uh, and part of the reason is just just to have that experience. Mm-hmm. So. Makes sense. Well, as always, Abram, thank you, and I look forward to what we talk about next. <laughs>